Whiplash is the greatest movie of 2014 and one of my favorite films in my personal opinion which shows the determination that someone has to go through in order to be the best that they can possibly be in something no matter what they face and in this case in Whiplash which is not the Iron Man villain you have Miles Teller who's a freshman in college who's striving to be one of the greats in drumming and when he gets chosen to be part of J.K. Simmons ensemble he thinks that everything's gonna go his way not realizing the intensity slash borderline illegal teaching methods that he's going to end up facing and that's where you get get J.K. Simmons, who's so bad, he's good, because he's so bad, to the point that those farmer commercials that you see him in, you can just completely throw those out the window because you're never going to see the guy the same way again. I mean, if you thought that he was angry because he didn't get his pictures of Spider-Man, the dude goes full-blown, full metal jacket in this movie for the full one hour and 49 minutes. Now, obviously, the movie doesn't promote the crazy things that he does in any way, shape, or form, and the movie has a lot of, like, little aspects to it that obviously you may not agree with, one of them for me being the usage of the R-word, but it's showing you that it's not about the rough technique that he ends up pushing on these kids, but the fact that it's pushing the message of perseverance. How a majority of people really just settle and don't push themselves, especially when people are saying, hey, you're doing a good job, and they don't have that motivation to move forward, and really how easily people can give up. Miles Teller, however, plays that one guy who usually we see him as being the annoying, smart Alex type of character, and even in The Spectacular Now, he brought it down just a bit. In this movie, he brings it down by a mile, literally, and where you do not see Miles at all, because he plays such a good character, and where he's really playing that one guy who wants to be the best that he he can possibly be and there are so many scenes in this movie where you see him and pretty much a lot of the other characters trying to push themselves forward as much as they can there's a particular dinner scene that happens where the dialogue which is completely riddled throughout the whole movie very good dialogue but in this particular dinner scene it's done so well in the banter that they have back and forth and the way that the whole movie is really cut especially in here but in all of the times that they're actually playing the instruments how it cuts back and forth and really timing it perfectly for when the notes are being hit just really adds to the movie the practice sessions are some of the craziest stuff I mean just looking at some of the images without really spoiling a lot of it shows you how intense they really are but it's the fact that this movie really puts you on the edge of your seat I mean you have a lot of critics and people who say oh yeah that one movie really put me to the edge of my seat no this movie really puts you to the edge of your seat and I'm being completely honest because this is one of those movies where when you see the things that are happening on screen it just makes you go crazy and it just makes you really put yourself in the character's shoes and making sure that he really doesn't mess up like you're going please please just hit this note man please just get it done please just hit the tempo please just do it and it does it in a way that even though it gets very intense and almost seems like it's something that's completely crazy not possible is actually very believable when you see the things that this kid is going through and the way that he is pushed to the point that jk simmons character doesn't feel like the professor in god's not dead where he abused the classroom pretty much and everybody knew about it no one did anything here the way that it's handled is done in a way that actually makes sense and the ending is a perfect example of that and where i believe it is one of the greatest endings because it's so heart-wrenching and intense yet at the the same time without really spoiling it is one of the most earned endings that I have ever seen because usually movies get to a point where let's say it's a sports movie and they're like hey let's just have him have that miracle shot that miracle you know winning point and he does it or there's the end of a movie and they're like let's just have him randomly find each other and it happens no this movie doesn't feel like the writers were just like you know what and then let's just have it end this way just because no it feels like it definitely earns it the characters go through so much to the point that whether it ends up being good or bad it definitely gets you and makes you go damn I cannot believe that we are here literally it's to the point that I would say that last final scene is pretty long and I thought that it was going to end in several moments but I would actually compare it to the fight scene in the raid 2 towards the end of the raid 2 and where it's actually very long and by the end of the fight scene like you're completely sweating and you're going dang that was pretty exhausting that is the ending of this movie as well now again as much as I love this movie and I think that it is definitely the best example of showing how you need to strive to be the best that you can possibly be in something not just in drumming as this movie shows but really anything that you want to be and trying to push yourself and not just go okay you know good is good is okay everything's gonna be fine like that but actually being the best that you can possibly be there are still aspects in this movie where ironically they didn't do you know the best that they could possibly do one of the two would be that someone loses something in a particular moment in the movie and they just don't really answer that and it almost seems like how did that magically just disappear and they just never really answer that the other moment would be that while a lot of the editing was again done really well with the way that they shot uh, a lot of the talking scenes and especially when they were performing on stage 
strange was that there was this particular date scene that happened where they were eating pizza where it was Miles Teller and his girlfriend and the way that they cut that scene up was a little iffy because when they're cutting back and forth like the girl is clearly in a different position every single time and it's like you know for a movie that is supposed to be completely on tempo these scenes weren't but other than that like those two minor issues this movie is definitely phenomenal it does have some language it does have all of that but definitely this is one of the movies that you have to see this year it's definitely again my favorite movie of the year even with some of the ones that are still coming up I still think that this one is going to have the top spot and I definitely recommend it for all of those who are willing to see a movie that not only has good directing good acting but a phenomenal story definitely check it out and definitely if you did let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and until next time i will see you guys later